Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to create a procedural rope inside of Houdini. So I was going through a tutorial by Vermix uh, from a mix training on how to create a procedural rope and simulate using a uh, FEM solver and I came up with uh, another method on how to create a rope uh, which will give you more control uh, if you want to art direct it and if you want to model it uh, with uh, some lines so let's get started so here I have a curve and what we do to create a rope is first of all we want to smooth this out so we will just subdivide this and then we'll just uh, drop in the resample node so after this what we'll do is we'll create a circle so once we have the circle, uh, we want to select the polygon type and then we can uh, decrease the division to something like 3 and also we can decrease the radius to something like 0 0.05 So after we have done that, uh, what we'll do is we will drop in the sweep node So once we have the sweep node, we'll connect our first input over here and then our line on the second input okay so here uh, we have our geometry uh, copied on the line next thing what you want to do is you want to turn off the transform using attribute and then you can use this twist attribute to add a twist on the copied geometry after this what we'll do is we will add in the group node Uh, this group node will just uh, will just use to delete the uh, unrequired geometry later on. Let's just add call it a del. And in the after the group node, what we'll do is we'll add in the add node. Next thing, what we want to do is we want to go to a polygon tab and then by group. In this one, we, what we want to do is we want to add using an attribute. So right now we don't have any attribute. That's why the add node is giving us this warning. So what we'll do is we'll create an attribute after the circle. So what we'll do is we will create an ID attribute which will be equals to point number. So after we have created the attribute uh, for the circle for each point, what this will do is uh, it will add an ID attribute for each and every point. So there are three points so that's why we have three ID. So now if we go to our add node and then by attribute in the attribute name if we call it an ID. So now we have a line. Uh, that uh, is very similar to the rope. So after this what we'll do is we'll drop in the delete shop and then we'll, we'll delete the unrequired geometry. So once we have uh, got this shape uh, what you can do is you can just simply add in the poly wire node and then here you have a rope. So you can uh, use uh, different attributes from poly wire to shape it better so you can increase the division size and if you want to have more than three no, uh, three ropes uh, you can increase the number of division in the circle so if we can go up to four so what this gives us is uh, this gives you the uh, flexibility to shape the rope according to the initial line that you draw okay so anyway uh, so this was a quick one uh, I I I'll link the tutorial from Vermix uh, in the description below uh, if you have any suggestions and queries uh, please do let me know thank you